Hello, welcome to the overview video for Castaway Fishing's casting kit. This kit is filled to the brim with great lures for catching game fish. Uh, really, it's designed to just provide you a fantastic variety of lures when you're out on the water and you just want to cast for some big old game fish. Uh, the definition of game fish, or at least my definition, is fish big enough to eat littler fish. Um, so this, for example, would be bass, walleye, pike, that kind of thing. Uh, starting with the inside cover, we have a great waterproof tip sheet. Uh, gives you some great ideas for key areas to hone in on, areas that usually have some sort of predator uh, game fish hanging around. Uh, below that, in the top right corner, we have the only thing that's not a lure in this kit, and these are steel leaders. Um, if you're ever fishing anywhere that has toothy fish, such as pike or muskie, you want to make sure you have one of these on, so you don't lose your lures to bite-offs. Uh, you tie your line to this end of the leader, and this end, you just uh, you slide your lure onto there, snap it closed, and uh, away you go. On to the actual lures, uh, we have a huge variety of crankbaits uh, in this top section. We have this little diver. Uh, this bait dives actually quite deep for its size. Uh, it has a beautiful wiggle. I love these, um, particularly when you're fishing weed lines in the summer. Uh, super effective on bass. I like using them in the rivers for walleye in like the spring and fall. Um, Really, this is just a, a great little lure. Uh, you'd be amazed the size of fish you catch on this. Uh, a little bit bigger than that, uh, but basically in the same vein, is this shad-style lure. Uh, it has a little bit narrower wiggle um, because of the longer body, uh, and it doesn't dive quite as deep. It floats a little bit more than the other one. Um, this is absolutely deadly for walleye. Um, obviously great for pike and bass, too. Um, but I typically love to use these uh, in the rivers for walleye uh, or to troll. Uh, next up is a little bit different. This is a uh, shallow diver that imitates minnows. Uh, whenever you're fishing the shallows, typically there'll be minnows, and typically there'll be larger fish feeding on those minnows. Um, basic rule is the bigger the lip, the deeper it dives. As you can see, this one has a small lip, so you can tell it doesn't dive very deep. Uh, it's hard to recreate while it's out of water, but this is about what this one looks like um, in the water. A nice side-to-side -side wiggle, and it's got rattles, I don't know if you can hear that, uh, to help attract fish. Under that we have, in my opinion, the king of shallow water. Uh, this is a twitching lure. Uh, you can cast it out and reel it in normally like the other crankbaits, but uh, what I love doing with this is casting it out and giving it very short, intense jerks, so it darts side to side, back and forth, up and down, and it perfectly simulates a wounded uh, prey fish. Uh, it has neutral buoyancy, so when it's when you're paused, it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, this is a great lure to fish when you're all caffeined up and you have a lot of energy, you just want to twitch out. Putting these back, we move to the section below. First up, this one, uh, as you can tell, small bill, doesn't dive very deep. Uh, this has a very interesting action. It's more of a side-to-side uh, -side wobble than a back-and-forth. Um, this is great, uh, again, for shallow water. Another killer walleye bait, um, but obviously it will catch other, other species as well. This one, a little bit bigger bill, a uh, little bit deeper dive. Um, more of a side-to-side -side wobble. Up next, we have a uh, large shallow diving. Uh, from the fat body, you can tell it has a very wide wiggle. Generally, the wider the body on a crankbait, the wider the wiggle. The narrower the body, the tighter the wiggle. Uh, again, small bill, small sh or shallow diving depth. This is the deepest diving crankbait of the whole kit. Uh, this is great for whenever you're fishing uh, deep weed lines, um, if you're fishing suspended bait fish schools, whatever. Uh, again, large body, very large wiggle. And as you can hear, there's some big rattles in there uh, to provide great attractant to the fish. Gets them to come over and check out what's going on. 
Putting these back, we move down to the section below that where we find two spinner baits. Uh, in my opinion, these are probably the most versatile lures in this kit. They can be fished really any way. You can reel them in really slow so the blades are just turning. You can burn them really fast under the surface. You can kind of roll them like a jig. Um, whatever the fish are doing, you can tailor this lure to be attractive to them. Um, fish them slow if the fish are slow, fast if the fish are active, etc. Um, you can even add a uh, soft plastic trailer to the hooks if you want a little bit more action. Um, the difference with these typically is uh, the willow blade typically weighs a little more and runs a little bit deeper. Uh, the willow blade provides a lot more flash but not as much lift so again that lure runs a little bit deeper. Uh, these are also better for um, when you're rolling it like a jig. The willow blade has a very nice flutter when you're letting the bait drop. The Colorado blade, um, it provides a bit more lift, uh, but not quite as much flash. Uh, not saying either one is better or worse than the other, uh, it's just something to keep in mind when you're out on the water. Below that we have several spoons of uh, all shapes, sizes, and colors. Let me just dig a few out. Uh, obviously, spoons, one of the oldest lures um, ever, or out there, uh, still super deadly to the, this day. Uh, big advantage nowadays, not a whole lot of guys are still using spoons. So these are a great lure for more pressured water. Uh, obviously, they're famous for their pike catching abilities, but everything from bass to walleye can be caught on these. Uh, just cast them out, uh, reel them in. Uh, typically, slower retrieves do better, uh, but you want it fast enough so they're wiggling. Uh, there are some instances where you can kind of twitch and flutter, where you'll reel it really fast and then kind of just let it flutter down, reel it up and let it flutter down. Uh, it all depends on what the fish want that particular day. Up next, this is the only topwater lure in the kit. Uh, it's called a popper. Uh, it's named that because you fish it by casting it out and giving it short um, jerks along the surface. The water rushing around this lip uh, creates a popping noise, provides a little splash, a uh, lot of activity on the surface for the fish to hone in on and uh, bring them up to the surface to check out what's going on. Next we have a very cool uh, soft bodied glider jerk bait. Uh, these are very cool lures. Uh, they are kind of difficult to fish. They take a little bit to get used to, but once you, once you get the hang of it, they're super effective. Uh, cast it out, give it short jerks, and you should be able to get it to go side to side, something like this. Maybe a little up, maybe a little down. The key to this, when you're jerking it, make sure immediately after you jerk it, you give it enough slack to go off to the side. Obviously, it can't go off to the side if you keep the line tight. Last but not least are a pair of jig-type things. They are very different in how you fish them, though. This is a weedless jig. Uh, you can fish this in a little bit thicker, air, well, areas with thicker cover than you can the others because of this guard that hopefully, at least in theory, protects the hook from getting snagged on weeds, debris, whatever. Uh, my two favorite ways to fish this are to either bring it right along the bottom so it kind of looks like a uh, fish trying to feed on the bugs or whatever that's in the mud, um, or you can swim it back kind of up and down uh, to resemble a bait fish. This is called a chatterbait. It uh, works similar to a spinnerbait, at least you fish it uh, in a similar manner. Uh, you attach your line to this loop right here. I hope you can see that. Uh, this blade provides lots of flash, uh, a lot of vibration in the water, and it causes this tail to go back and forth to kind of imitate a fish swimming through the water. Uh, really cool. This thing looks awesome in the water. Um, and that is, that's about it. Uh, Great variety of lures. Uh, as you can tell, there should be something to fit uh, any condition you find yourself in. Uh, if the fish are deep and they want something kind of small with uh, a lot of rattles, or if they're uh, feeding on the surface, or maybe they want something kind of slow with a more side-to-side -side action. Uh, it's all just about figuring out what the fish want the day you're out, and uh, figuring out which lure fills that, uh, fills that need that the fish are looking for. Cast away.